Hi guys, welcome back to Kitchen World Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video, um, this is the second part I'm doing on the um, commandos. Uh, the first part you saw me the unboxing or the making of them and this one's going to be uh, painting it. So it's uh, how I've gone about painting it. Like I said in other videos, there's brilliant painters out there and the way I paint is just quick and to get them on the uh, battlefield. So this is, uh, if you focus in, this is one of the guys I've painted. Uh, I've painted a squad of 10. So I've got one more left to do. And uh, you'll see these in action uh, hopefully Saturday. Uh, well, we're doing a small 10-man uh, raiding party on uh, some German objectives. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be uh, one dice, one model. Um, yeah, so you'll see that in action hopefully uh, on Saturday. Okay, so the one I'm going to do like I say, it's the last guy of the 10 man unit, is this guy here. Now he's been uh, spray painted um, grey, and uh, I'm going to get the first coat on, <coughs> excuse me, which is going to be uh, Vallejo Flat Earth. Oops, sorry, try and keep it in focus. focus. Okay, and that's going to cover um, a majority, if not all the body, um, as my first layer, and then build up from there. Okay, so I'll crack on with that and show you once I've done that. Hi guys, welcome back. So that's the um, flat earth done. Uh, so that's all his uniform, his face and his hands. Um, I didn't mention it in the first part, but I'm doing the same again. I'm not using, uh, showing you each individual brush stroke, just what colours and the way I go about it. Okay, so next up, what I'm going to do is his uh, backpack, his Bergen, and his hat he's got there. And uh, I'm going to be doing them with US Olive Drab. Okay, so I'll go away, paint them up, and see you after that. Okay, see you soon. Okay, welcome back, guys. So that's the, uh, the green done for his Bergen and uh, for his cap there. Now it's a bit dark at the moment, but what I'm going to do eventually when all the base colours are down, uh, I'm going to do a dry brush just to bring some of that detail out. Uh, the next few steps uh, I'm going to do all at once because they're only bits and bobs. Like uh, his boots are going to be black. Um, the rope there I'm going to do in tan earth. And his rifle, uh, which will be saddle brown and um, Obviously the metal parts on the, um, like his bayonet and the working parts of the rifle. And also his uh, sling as well, I'm going to do that tan earth. So we'll get all those bits and bobs done and uh, we'll show you how he looks after that. Okay, see you soon. Okay guys, so there he is up to date now. Done his rifle, uh, the metal parts like his bayonet and the working parts. Uh, the rifle strap is boots and oops, just keep it in focus and is uh, rope there. So what I'm going to do now is go away and do the flesh and then I'm going to um, hi um, highlight um, dry brush his backpack and his hat as well. Well his backpack is Bergen as they were called and basically that's all the base colours done. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you when we're up to there. And uh, then it's just the um, the wash to do, and then the basing. And as you can see, this is quite a fast and uh, effective way I've found of doing these. Um, not necessarily the correct colours, but like you know, if, if I haven't got the colours, I just use what I've got, and that's what I do. Okay, so I'll go away, um, do the flesh, and uh, do the uh, dry brushing on his bergen there, and his hat. Okay, so see you again soon. Okay, so here he is with all the basing done now. Uh, so the flesh, <clears throat> his face and arms, hands, and I've also done the, um, the dry brushing on the backpack as well, just to make the uh, details stand out a little bit more, um, and on his hat as well. Okay, so basically that's him done. Um, just gonna wait till uh, some of that paint's done. Uh, then he's gonna get um, a, a Citadel Null Oil um, wash, 
and then his base. And basically his base will be um, the US olive drab again and um, then flocking. And I'll show you when he's done there with the other guys. Okay, so like I say, it's uh, quite a, um, a fast uh, and quick painting scheme uh, just to get these guys ready for combat. And uh, we'll see him with the rest of his buddies, his 10-man group, which like I said, will uh, be in combat. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see that on Saturday. Okay, see you soon after I've done the, uh, the wash and his base and the same with the other guys. Okay, see you soon. Okay guys, so this is the guy in the front, all finished, and the rest of the 10-man uh, commando uh, unit ready to go. Uh, as you can see, uh, they've got a LMG there, and uh, quite a few um, SMGs. Um, uh, the makeup of these guys are from the uh, Royal Marine Commandos, taken from the um, D-Day book, uh, the British sector. Um, so yeah. Uh, next time we see these, I'll be in uh, action. Uh, hopefully Friday night, uh, Wayne will be with me and the video will be going up uh, Saturday. Let's just see if we can get these guys in focus. So that's my commandos uh, ready to go. Uh, like I say, it's uh, one dice, one model. Uh, I have done them in solo games, uh, if you look back on some of them videos. Um, but you'll see it in full action, uh, hopefully me against Wayne. So uh, a quick and uh, yeah, um, quick way of going about it, painting them, um, not much to them. Uh, like I say, it's just for the tabletop standard. Uh, well, my tabletop standard, there's some fantastic painting models out there. And the guys who you paint uh, do brilliant jobs. Um, so I'd just like to once again th thank all the uh, subscribers and all the new guys who've just subscribed to me. Thanks very much. And um, yeah, so we'll see you in the uh, battle report. And in the meantime, remember to make it, paint it and play it. And see you soon, guys. Bye.